So we built a robot. Uh, you know, it took a lot of guts, but it had to be done. We knew this was a problem that people struggled with. We knew that they needed a robot that could automate cooking for them, but we did not know if they would buy it at the price point at which we were making it. Mm-hmm. The only sure shot way to find out was to actually build one, put it in consumer homes, mm-hmm. let them use it, let them pay you their hard-earned money. We all love food. Now, how do you mix our basic necessity, which is food, to the most advanced technology, which is robots and AI. We will find out from Raghav Gupta how he invented Nimble, which is going to churn out your Indian spicy food without you thinking at all. Well, we are talking to Raghav Gupta, co-founder Nimble. Raghav, welcome to Happy Hour with Ena Sarkar. Thank you for having me over here. Raghav, you look so young. I could not have imagined that you're an inventor and an entrepreneur and you've achieved so much already. How did it all begin for you? Well, first of all, I look younger than my age because of the healthy food I've been eating. Thanks, oh, to, the, okay. thanks to the healthy food I've been able to get through my robot. <laughs> Can you dial back to the time that you thought of becoming an entrepreneur and what was that moment like? So I grew up in a household where my mother was responsible for cooking for the entire family. And I grew up in a society where where the women on, in my life were also pretty much busy taking care of their families. You know, the education system that I got uh, introduced to told me that equality was important, freedom of uh, work was important, freedom to find uh, time to do things that you love is important. And unfortunately, the women in my life are not finding that freedom. Mm. Um, and, and so it was important for me to ask, hey, how can I get this freedom to, to you know, people who I love? And Nimble started from there. Uh, it was started to solve the problems of my cousins, my sisters, my mother who didn't get to do what she had to do because she had to prepare meals for the entire family. Uh, and that was the genesis. And that's how we got started. Um, I knew that I wouldn't have mom cooking food for me. I didn't want my spouse to be entangled in household chores either. And I wanted to find a way to eat freshly cooked meals without having to spend time, effort uh, and and money eating uh, takeouts. Uh, And that's why we started out with Nimble. Uh, We built a robot that could automate cooking for you so you don't have to. And so you could spend hours in the kitchen every single day. Let's stop you there. We'll talk about Nimble in a little bit. But what about being an entrepreneur? What do you think are the key spices? to be the right entrepreneur? I think entrepreneurship is just a means to an end. When you're passionate about something, you try to find the surest way to get your dreams to life. For some people, the surest way to get your dreams to life might be actually to partner with a larger corporation. A good example is, let us say you want to build the best sound technology there is out there. Um, Your vision might align with, say, Dolby's vision. So you might go to Dolby and say, I want to build the best sound there is. Dolby already built this. They can provide me the resources. Let me do this. For us, uh, I wanted to build a future where I did not have to spend time, effort and money cooking in the, cooking in the kitchen. Uh, we, we tried to partner with bigger companies where we, where we thought we could you know, use our technology to bring this future to life. Uh, it didn't seem like that was the fastest way to do this because bigger companies move slower in our space. And so entrepreneurship was the only way for us to bring our vision to life. Got it, got it. Now about Nimble, I mean, it's a robot. How am I going to trust a robot making the right uh, combination of everything that and to have the taste of my palate? Uh, So uh, if you look at it, you already use robots in your daily life. And the robots you do use in your daily life today are the washing machine, the dishwasher, and the coffee machine. Uh, the, the difference between those robots and the robots of today is that uh, the robots of yesterday use sensors that are very rudimentary. But at the end of the day, a coffee machine gives you coffee that is actually tailored to your need. You choose a cappuccino, a latte, you can customize the amount of milk you need, customize the amount of coffee you need, and you get a delicious cup of cappuccino. We do the same thing for food. Just that to do the same thing for food, you need 
much more sophisticated technology. You need technology that can detect, uh, you know, change in color, change in texture, change in taste. Coffee beans are pretty much the same wherever you go, as long as the source is the same. But the tomatoes, but no two tomatoes might be the same, no two onions might right. be the same. You need technology that understands this difference between tomatoes and onions. So, you know, people will trust robots the same way they've started trusting their coffee machines, I think. Well, I mean, it sounds very complex because one thing is to be an entrepreneur. Now, you had all of those, like you were straight out of college, you became an entrepreneur, you became an inventor of a machine. Now, it's easy to follow another business model and do become an entrepreneur in that space. But you created a whole new space, which is robots and food and churning spicy food for you. Now, that must have taken a lot of conviction. How did you get that conviction? How did you know that if I make this machine, people will buy it. So when you're deeply passionate about something, I think you make stuff happen. We were, I was deeply passionate about finding a way to not spend tons of time in the kitchen every single day um, and and give this time back to the people who I love in my, uh, you know, in my life. I knew that the only way to get this time back to all these people and to get them freshly cooked meals was to build a robot that could cook these meals. So we built a robot. Uh, you know, it took a lot of conviction, it took a lot of guts, but it had to be done. We did not know people would buy it. We knew this was a problem that people struggled with. We knew that they needed a robot that could automate cooking for them, but we did not know if they would buy it at the price point at which we were making it. Mm-hmm. The only sure shot way to find out was to actually build one, put it in consumer homes, mm-hmm. let them use it, let them pay you their hard-earned money. So we built uh, early prototypes, put them in hundreds of households, let them use it for many weeks before we asked them to pay a single dollar. Okay. And once they'd used it, once they'd seen the value, well, they they in fact offered to pay us more than what we had expected them to pay for us. They were already spending hundred dollars per meal when they had to take out for their families, mm-hmm. and you know, a robot that cost only a few thousand, not even a few thousand, like a thousand dollars a pop, was a no-brainer for them. Right. Now, in this market where there are ready-to-eat food that you can get at home that is packaged and you just throw it in there with a little bit of a recipe, I'm assuming your robot is even more efficient because you don't even have to spend the 10-15 minutes in the prep because they all have about 10-15 minutes of prep time. Uh, So, the robot is churning food with the AI that is incorporated in the machine. How much is my time invested in figuring out? So uh, the biggest problem that people face while while making home-cooked food is actually figuring out what to eat. Our robot learns from your previous cooking sessions and recommends you what dishes you might enjoy eating the next week. That's one area where we solve your problems. Once we've recommended the three dishes you might enjoy eating the next week and you've confirmed those dishes, we auto-populate your grocery cart. Once your grocery cart is populated, you don't even have to now go out shopping for ingredients. Once your grocery cart is confirmed, you can press a button and those groceries get auto-delivered to your home using Instacart or the grocery service that you use. Once you have the ingredients at your home, you obviously have to prep the ingredients. Our robot cannot yet prepare the ingredients. The prep time for each recipe would depend on what recipe you're cooking. If you're cooking something like gajar ka halwa, you buy shredded carrots and Mm -hmm. there's zero prep time. But if you're cooking something like pad thai, which would require chopping like a bunch of peppers Mm -hmm. and all of that you'll have to do and then the robot would cook for you. Uh, Once you've prepped, obviously you add the ingredient into the robot. The robot automatically adds the right ingredients into the cooking process at the right time, stirs your food, regulates heat, watches over your food while you, you know, play your favorite video games, spend time with your kids, go out for a walk, do yoga, all of that. That that sounds really incredible. I can't even believe that, you know, someone's doing that. I have to really check out the machine. But, you know, the best recipes have always been the ones that grandmoms have, right? And grandmoms had the best recipes because they used to cook every day. 
over here we lost the habit of cooking so now we have to cook once in a while we are wondering what to do what are the recipes what to mix and all that hassle and if somebody is taking out that hassle from me and yet give me that grandma's recipe that i can churn out like within 10 15 minutes so the food is ready i don't think you can go wrong so check them out nimble and can you tell our viewers what the website is all about the website is eatwithnimble.com that's eat with nimble okay that's nimble with a y n y m b l e check us out we're collecting pre-orders right now and people who place pre-orders get a sweet 33 percent discount on that purchase 33 percent discount you can't go wrong with that so check out nimble the robot is going to churn food for you and you don't have to worry about the recipe i mean how simple is that it's sounding pretty simple and the machine sounds pretty intense i have to check it out thank you so much and you know god bless you for inventing a robot that makes food thanks for having me over here thank you well viewers if you like our meaningful conversation and our new content follow us on all our social platforms right here